Hello. Hi, guys. Welcome to New York Nerd Show. A bit of Ritz. All that, Pat. Gizmo's crunching his dinner in the back. We should have waited to start until he was done. Uh, he's okay. going to give his review he's joining, afterwards. Yes, he's joining us in our food review. So tonight we're doing um, a, the third meal, but we still haven't fi finished the first one that didn't have the missing ingredients because I still need to go to the grocery store. But uh, you know, it's all good. I'm yeah. blame COVID. Well, and Blue Apron, clearly, because well, yes. it's another so, ingredients. Tonight, we made uh, a the Calibrian fig, chicken and mashed potatoes with carrots and shishito peppers. So the Calibrian is a type of, well, it says Calibrian chili paste. So yeah. that's where that word comes in, and I don't know that I'm pronouncing that correctly. But um, the fig, we, I was hoping when I saw this recipe that it would be like a real fig because we've never cooked with fig right. uh but it was just a fig spread so it was a little anticlimactic I guess. It looked like a, it's almost like a little jam yeah uh, a jam those little like peel back containers so um it said uh the time would be 30 to 40 minutes do you think that's accurate yeah yeah i do honestly it wasn't that hard i mean i went slow uh but today i was just kind of like relaxing in the kitchen but yeah no i think 34 minutes is pretty accurate nothing took that long to cook okay and um, if you were to get this meal, they suggest zesty and tropical wine with it. So I can see that just because the there's a little bit of heat. I think it would go well with like the zesty aspect. Mm -hmm. So it's basically uh, chicken breast and golden potatoes or the mashed potatoes. There were um, our shishito peppers you said were missing. So sure were. Um, you just put some bell peppers that we already had from our garden. Yep. So that still allowed for like that crunchiness, but they said that when I looked it up, the shishito peppers are supposed to be a little sweet, so yeah. we might not get like the full experience of it. But it is what it is. Yeah. Um. So the pe peppers uh were cooked up with the carrots. Mm -hmm. Um. And then there's garlic, chili, the Calibrian chili paste. If I'm pronouncing that right. Some capers. Um. Vegetarian Worcestershire sauce. That's interesting. That's specifically vegetarian. I didn't know Worcester sauces. Yeah, what is it? Is it like made out? It must or like is it beef? Worcester sauce? Worcestershire. No, it, Worcestershire. It, it's Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Oh, I didn't pronounce that correctly. And then some grated Parmesan cheese, creme fraiche. Creme fraiche. I don't know. No, it's, that's creme fraiche, but I oh, don't really know what it is. Uh, but that's the first time you've ever cooked with that. Yeah, it always like a little container of cream. Yeah. More or less, like little, and yeah. then the fig spread. So uh, it does say that the meal may look different. Because of switch out of ingredients. So I'm wondering what in the picture is a little different. But anyway. So, all right. We're going to try this out. So, well, uh, first show the picture and mm -hmm. show the plate. So, you show yours first. Ooh. Ah. That's yeah, Gizmo sniffing down there. Yes. This is my plate. I think you did a pretty good job. Pretty close. Right? Yeah. A little spread out. But that's fine for me because I like mine to not be touching. <laughs> all right. I'm going to try the mashed potatoes first. Okay. Tastes like mashed potatoes. Good job. Hmm. Actually, there's uh, the, what is it, the Parmesan cheese on it. Parmesan um, cheese on the top of everything it said. Yeah. But it had that creme fraiche in it. And also, after the mashed potatoes were falling apart, you know, like when you could fork them, mm -hmm. you put the cream, which I'm used to before, but it said to put a bunch of olive oil in it, which oh, is yeah. very strange. I've never done that before. Yeah, and you could taste it. At least I mean, I we've can. done, um, you know, butter and, and milk usually. Yeah. Hmm. So I don't know if I'm a family's mashed potato, to be honest with you. I'll I don't them. mind them. I don't need the Parmesan cheese on top, though. But I, I like, I'm a big fan of mashed potatoes. Oh, I love them, too. I actually don't like, I don't typically like when there's skin on it, which is in, is in this, which is fine. But mm -hmm. uh, these were like baby potatoes, so they weren't as easy to like peel. Oh, yeah. No, um, it wasn't, wasn't happening. But I also don't like when it's really like silky smooth and it's a little like a mashed potato versus like what could basically be out of the box. Like I've had some, it was homemade and it was a mashed potato, but it was like pureed so much that I was like, this feels like a texture of box um, mashed potatoes, which I don't see the point in that. So you liked a little bit of a lump in the crunch? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not the crunch because that's the, that's the skin. And I I don't really like the skin part. Right, right. But anyway, so all right, I'm going to do the, the carrots next. But yeah, I, I was thrown off with like there's a little bit of that like smoky kind of flavor from the olive oil, which is kind of yeah, carrots and the um, we had to use the bell peppers instead of the shishito peppers since we didn't get the shishito peppers. But these are really good. I really like this. It's like yeah. smoky and sweet, a little bit sweet. Yeah, 
This was um, hmm. garlic, uh, Worcester sister sauce. <laughs> no, I've said it multiple times. Um, obviously, the carrots and the peppers. The carrots were sliced diagonal. Um, oh, capers. The capers were in here, too. Okay, I just tasted that. I didn't taste that before. No. Now, what, did you mash up the capers or you just threw them on? I almost so, this whole thing off. the capers were actually a little baggy mm -hmm. of capers, and they look like little peas, basically. Mm -hmm. um, but, like, everything so else they had... right in? Near the end. Okay. Like you put it in like in, in uh, stations. Yeah, I like these vegetables. Um, I do know in the picture their carrots were uh, like sliced and or instead of like in circles. But mm -hmm. they said, no, no, I'm, I'm just explaining. It says in the picture, you know, may be different because oh, I guess they probably gotcha. changed the recipe. Well, Which we did get, um, I guess to update, we did get one meal uh, refunded for future credit. Because we were missing half the ingredients, the knickknack bag or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then we also got a review asking which of the recipes, you know, we liked, which so far, I mean, all of them have been four or five out of five. So, yeah, so far, so good. All right. The one thing. I'm going for the chicken. All right. Okay. With the one thing with what? Compared to the other recipes that we've gotten, hmm. the amount of leftovers I feel is substantially less. With this particular meal? Yeah. The chicken, there's still a double on. But as far as the um, the vegetables and the mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. I think there's probably one meal left of those. So if this, I don't think it would really even feed a family of four. Well, okay, it's supposed to be. It would. You know what I mean? But, like, it's somebody. The, the support size would be smaller. Small servings, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. This sauce is, like... I can definitely taste the sweetness and the fig. Ooh, it just got really spicy. <laughs> got so spicy at the end. It's almost like there's multiple layers of the sauce. And it's like hitting me at different times, which is really unusual for anything I've eaten in general, especially something we made homemade. Usually mm -hmm. it's kind of like we just throw sauce on or whatever. So I like this except for whatever that kick is at the end. I don't need that. <laughs> no, yeah, that's the... Um... I'll just, I'll, I'll blend it out. I don't know the word, but uh, with I'll cut it with the potato. I personally really like the sauce. I'm sure you do, because you like a little spicy. Yeah, for the exact reason you don't, basically. Um, the chicken, so what's interesting is, obviously, the chef, so to speak, myself, <laughs> is responsible for how the, the meat is cooked. Need more greens. Well, we do have the, um, the green bell peppers, at least, so that's better than nothing. And we could have made a salad, I guess, in theory, but, sure, sure. you know. We're lucky if we get vegetables in our normal diet. <laughs> and, uh, Gizmos, and Gizmos, right, uh, laying on the ground next to us. He just well, finished his dinner. Well, we'll have him jump up at the end to give his review. Mm -hmm. Um, so and like I was trying to say about the chicken, mm -hmm. the the directions they gave, and when I was cooking it, it I think they have you cook it a little bit too long. Yeah, I was gonna say it's a little dry for usually you 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 do the chicken very well. Yeah, but I wanted to. Because there's somebody else's recipe that we're mm -hmm. doing a review on. I want to go right with it. Sure. Um, and also the chicken pizzas were actually pretty thick. So I'm like, all right, maybe. Yeah. It didn't really burn. But definitely when I went it's to go slice tough. it. Yeah. And very crunchy on the outside, which I don't mind the crunchiness. I just don't like, um, or not that it's tough. It's Well, it's a little tough, but it's a more dry than anything else. So yeah. I feel like I need to like have some water. But <laughs> I also put a lot of salt. It says it use a lot of salt liberally. Mm -hmm. um, so... I did that too, but I don't know. So, I mean, I don't mind it. I think that this is, you know, a, a good recipe, I guess, to replicate in the future. I don't, I don't know that I really ever crave this particular chicken, like the sauce on the chicken, mm -hmm. but I definitely think these vegetables I'm a big fan of. Like, I would be happy if you made these vegetables again. The mashed potatoes, in the end, basically taste like mashed potatoes to me, like, mm -hmm. Any other time we made mashed potatoes, so they don't really feel very, you know, special right. um, in terms of, I know you said you put, like, the creme fraiche. I mean, we've done it where we kind of mixed in sour cream before mm -hmm. or, you know, throw a little, like, chives in it and, like, you know. Garlic, anything like that. Yeah, so, I mean, it's fine, but, you know, but it's, I don't think, if you've ever, mashed potatoes is one of the easiest things, I feel like, for anybody to make, so. Right. It, it tastes like just whatever anyone else would make. Right, and I know Bitterbits loves box mac potatoes, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good gritty. Or the frozen ones that come with a kid cuisine. Mm. The kid, I used to eat that when I was little. 
Did it used to have, what was it? it used to be the dessert that was like, like the brownie never or... really fully, no, the pudding would always, <laughs> no matter how long you put in the microwave, I feel like it would still be like ice particles in it. Mm -hmm. And that was just what it was. Like, that's just how I ate it. Well, it's funny, like the only thing that was ever really good, well, corn, you can't screw up corn. Mm -hmm. Um... But it's funny, I've been watching this guy, I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, and it's watching now, his name is Brutal Moose, mm -hmm. and he does, like, a lot of, like, frozen dinner reviews, a lot of food reviews, but he's so quirky, and he does a really good job with his uh, production value, and I just, I mean, so hooked with him, but watching him do reviews on, like, Hungry Man dinners, Kid Cuisine, things like that, it brings me back to this frozen food kind of stuff, but this is certainly not frozen food. Again, this is our Blue Apron review of the... Um, Calibrian, we're going to pronounce it as, fig, uh, chicken... Mashed potatoes. Yeah, and mashed potatoes with carrot and shishito peppers, but ours is really uh, green bell peppers from our garden. So I would say... Because they didn't have the shishito peppers. Continue. No, you're fine. So basically, what you know, we do it like out of five, right? Mm-hmm. What would you give this overall dish out of five? I think... If the chicken wasn't so dry, I would probably give it maybe like a three and a half to four out of five. Um, I'll, I'll word like that. So I right. would say three and a half to four out of five. I think the vegetables, like I said, th those are five out of five for me. The mashed potatoes are like, they're fine, like I said. But the chicken, I don't know. I don't love the um, sauce, but I don't hate it. It's like, this is interesting, but I don't feel like I'd ever be like, oh, I really need that fig sauce again. I mean, maybe try. I, we've had fig with other things like you were saying last time there's like a fig and pig pizza that's um in syracuse mm -hmm. new york um and that pizza is really good it has uh ham or bacon right yep. bacon with the fig and if you guys are in the syracuse area it's right on uh route 11 it's north um north syracuse it's a uh, toss and fire pizza yeah i mean we haven't been there in a while so hopefully it's you know still still right. kicking but yeah they used to do like uh i think it was like january we last night yeah, but yeah, that, that pizza is really good. So we were excited to try the fig. I would be curious to experience cooking fig that's like from an actual fruit. It's, a, it's considered a fruit, Yeah, it's right? a fruit, yeah. So, and, and kind of getting that experience. But otherwise, yeah, I think this wasn't bad. I mean, you know, I think we tried, you know, different things. I don't need, I hate when they just like throw cheese on the end. I know. I know you like doing that for like your pastas and stuff like that. I didn't understand it in this case. I mean, yeah. I love it. I'm like, um... I mean, you, okay. you're, what are your main staples of food groups is cheese. So. Right. Um, so I honestly, mm -hmm. I'm going to give this a two. Really? Yeah. Why? Mashed potatoes are mashed potatoes. Nothing mm -hmm. super special. I need in a recipe. The chicken, I can't really dock points for it being overcooked because I did cook it, but the amount of time it told me to cook it was kind of, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but if it was cooked, like if it wasn't overcooked, you don't think you would, you would want to make this again? So, Okay. It's kind of hard. Mm. I definitely love the vegetables. I'm with you on that. Like mm -hmm. the carrots and the um, the peppers, which again, we had to supply. Um, and, and they don't take away from the recipe. Back. Yeah. No, I, no, I think but. It tastes fine, even though we were using bell peppers instead of the shishito ones. Right. I guess this is a this is a meal of sauces. And mm -hmm. that's it. There's nothing special with the meats itself or the other things. Mashed potatoes, like I said, normal. Nothing crazy. The, the carrots and peppers, top notch. They, they earned probably two points. Uh, the chicken, maybe I'm going up to three, actually. But the mm -hmm. chicken was okay. But I do like the sauce. So I still feel pretty comfortable with saying between a two and a three. I don't. I would not go past that, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, value? Nah, no, not, a, not at all. This is a, this particular meal is not a, uh, a quality value. Only because of, like, the... The cost of these items. Right. Thank Carrots you. are super cheap. Potatoes are super cheap. Chicken is super cheap. Um, so, I mean, again, I thought like I'm really, really negative, really uh, uh, complaining. I'm trying not to because I like the meal overall. I mean, I'm not spitting it out or anything like that. But um, Yeah, I think it was fine. I just, I'm not like, I ended up not being as exciting as I was hoping it would be. Yeah. But. um, The smell is terrible. I will say. Uh, really? I, yeah. yeah my, it's I like, can't really smell it. A lot of times we cook, I'm just like, hmm, what's that? This one was like, oh, God, this is going to taste terrible. <laughs> it tastes fine. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Something about the aromas don't blend, at least for me right now. Now, do you feel Could be the that, dog, though. <laughs> do you feel that you could adjust this meal in some way to make it improve for in the future if you did want to try it again? Or you're just kind of like, just scrap yeah. it other than the vegetables? No, no, no. Here's that. 
I would I cook the chicken less, mm -hmm. you know, and and also the mashed potatoes. I would probably either put um, gravy on them or I would make them garlic mashed potatoes. Like I'm said, not a fan of gravy, so no, that I sounds know. horrible to me, but <laughs> sounds good for you. Yeah, and like I said, I, I'm. It's just one of those things. Like I with Blue Apron because you pay for the you know the thing. I just was hoping that that mashed potatoes would be like, yeah. And like when I was making them, I kept thinking like, what am I going to add to this? And then I added that cream and I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know, I, yeah. So oh, I get you. Um, all right. So yeah. So basically that was our review. Um, we do have, we got to get <laughs> organized. I'm hoping this weekend we can maybe like make an image for the, and set up the contest, but we have one mm, free yep. meal to give away from blue apron. Um, but you have to not have been a subscriber to it before. So we're going to um, promote that, you know, starting next week uh, when we get the details situated and we can like share, you know, I got to find out. I think I just need to know what I need to send them kind of thing, like a name and email probably. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so we're excited to like offer, you know, this to you guys. And I think after we use up our promotional credit, because we did have like a $20 off of three, um, boxes basically mm -hmm. so we're going into our third box um next week i had been doing every other week but basically next week the food sounds really good and the week after that didn't sound as great and then the week after that was thanksgiving, thanksgiving. and we don't need extra food at thanksgiving right. so i think after we get through this i'm kind of curious to maybe try some of the other um meals uh mailing services what was the one that you were just showing me downstairs we had There's, a, like really it's called cheap. like every plate mm -hmm. um it's owned by hello fresh but it's like their lower cost alternative so i've heard things like hello fresh has everything uh separated out individually and um are usually very good about like not missing anything sometimes every plate like might end up missing things once in a while but you'll also like get all of your ingredients kind of in some bags together like if you have carrots across like three recipes it will mm -hmm. all just be in one bag and you need to separate yourself which i don't feel like is that big of a deal but some well, people don't blue apron like does too yeah some stuff yes but some stuff not i don't know it's kind of weird because the yeah. carrots were separated but then sometimes we'll get stuff that it's like you know you gotta kind of just keep an eye out to make sure you don't need it for more than one thing right um so anyway yeah i mean i can run through real quick the nutritional uh per serving so 600 calories is that oh. not bad for this oh, meal yeah it's good Total carbohydrates, 47 grams. Dietary fiber, 6 grams. Added sugar, 6 grams. Total fat, 27 grams. Saturated fat, 8 grams. Protein, 44 grams. Sodium, 1,190 milligrams. I'm not a nutritionist, so. but where's the fat coming from? I mean, there's some cream. Well, probably the creme fraiche, yes, I would say. And then, um, yeah, the chicken was pretty, um, there was, like, not really any fat in the chicken. So I'm not really sure. Maybe the additives for, like, the fig spread? I have no idea. Right. I'm just making things up. I am too. So anyway, so yeah. So uh, we're going to be, what's up next? On Tuesday, every Tuesday, we have the uh, Battlegrounds, mm -hmm. right? WWE Battlegrounds. But. But next week, we are coming back around to our Royal Rumble for Riches, which we have took a break for a little bit because uh, basically we can't really do it on this game. It. It limits like you can't choose who you put in the in the Royal Rumbles, and then he, Pat has to play all that Pat has to play. Um, and if he happens to get thrown out, which has happened a couple times, then the game just ends. So yeah. uh, we're gonna, you know, three minute episode. <laughs> we're gonna set it up so that it's like how we used to do it, you know, just for um, next Tuesday, uh, mm -hmm. eight p.m. Eastern. And then it'll be WWE Two K eighteen is what we've been using. Yeah, because it's whatever's on the Xbox. Um, so it streams easily. Well, basically, I've never seen it before. I was going to talk with my mouth full. Yeah, why don't you chew first, and then you can explain in a second. And then um, we had an episode cut short because Gizmo got sick while we were oh, doing yeah. a Call of the Wild episode where we find things out and about. Um, so at some point, we need to do an unboxing for Mario Kart Live, the new um, Mario Kart game that basically you drive it around your house and it like makes a track based on your house. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. And then we have a couple of like blind boxes to open and that sort of thing. So yeah. we got lots of things. So you want to explain what the battle, uh, yeah. So yeah, World, World Rumble, Rumble for Riches, mean. basically it's a third, 20 man, usually 20 to 30 man Royal Rumble over the top rules, just like the classic pay-per-view has had for God over 30 years in the uh, actual real WWE. What we do is we make a theme. So if it's like Canadian heroes, like you'll see anybody that's from Canada, 
Uh, like I said, like Bret Hart or, um, you know, Jericho was in it. We just kind of go for it from there. Some of the themes are pretty silly. Some of them are kind of straightforward. But the bottom line is we put it at random. We just let the computer put, excuse me, the computer play. Well, you pick you pick who is on is playing on it, but the computer will pick who comes out. And like then the entry of it. Yeah. yeah. Now, do you have a theme in mind, or we're going to have to figure that out? I believe we'll look at them, but I think we never did masks and makeup twice, did we? No, we didn't do a second one of it, but if we have a brand new one, that would probably be better than well, a rehash of an old one. I, I know we didn't. I didn't say down the video. It's a very sore subject. Well, it's not even that, but what's Friday? Oh, Halloween, but then it's Tuesday after. Uh, it's a little late, but it's fine. We could do that. I don't we'll know figure it out. Or maybe, I have to look at how people are in there, but we could do like a backstage politicians episode. Oh, okay. Because unfortunately, well, hopefully fortunately, Friday is election day. Tuesday is election day. Tuesday. Yeah. So, all right. We'll if you want to like goes. ignore the real world and come hang out with us Tuesday at eight o'clock. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Keep your mind off of things. So uh, here's Gizmo one more time. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Bye. Adios.